on the side. No, oh, two quarter pound bed. Was okay. it four? I know four pounds. Need a few down below as well. Yeah. yeah. Give it a No, not much. Again, they seem a lot better than what they are. They're rolling so much. Yeah, they're fresh too. Yeah, yeah. Are they all hitting the same fly? Uh, no, both flies. Both flies. That's a flying Let's take this out of here. Bloody hell, he eh? swallowed up that. Better off in the water for a few seconds. Once he doesn't have to watch the rod, watch the... Gone. I'd rather let him go that way than spend too long with him. Chase the green slime. Ooh. Actually, there he is. <laughs> he just lay, he lay, but he laid, he played dead. He played possum. Go on. Go on. <laughs> he played possum right at my feet. <laughs> That's what I call smart fish. Right. Now, let's try again. It's very small. <laughs> Took them right under the tree. Uh, he's so small, the fly is bigger than him. But I just took him right under the tree, which is funny. Let it go, let it go. They're the next generation. And of course, small trout, rapid flies. Oh yeah, small trout. <laughs> Stomach. Bigger, eyes oh, bigger than his belly. Right, we'll try and get him back. That's the deepest part, so he'll be fine. This is where I lost the biggest, my biggest trout. Down here. So you get an idea of how. If you can even fill them out there, how hard it is to fish there. You know, see the trees, the casting tree, all this. This is where you fish again. You know, so imagine trying to fish that with a five weight rod. You've got all these trees, and trying to hold the fish and get at them. You're not going to be able to do with a five weight. That's why we're looking for a seven foot rod, seven, eight weight. Just the strength to hold the fish there. You can't let them go upstream or downstream. So we'll have to fix this first now before we go any further because the last thing you want is your net to be incapacitated when you're playing a big trout. Sticks. Bloody sticks. Right. There you go. Ready and go. And down. And right up. Obviously how fast we can get a trout here. Bigger guys are just playing with it, not holding. <gasps> oh 
I was in big trouble. They're just dropping the fly. They're just chasing it. That's all they're doing. I speed it up and they pull, 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 pull and drop. I'm in. Not big either. Just another. Fresh fish. Another quarter pound half. A quarter pound dish. Yeah. Same fly. A couple of ounces. Put them back there fast. You can see how good the fly is because the other guys were fishing with maggots and different flies. And yet that same trout, or that same fly, caught all the trout. So it gives you an idea that if you have a really good pattern and it works, keep using it. That's all it is, simple as that. And keep it to yourself. <laughs> okay, not all the time, but... But it just proves that if you have the time and patience to tie your own flies, you get the fish because you can change so many different patterns and that's what makes a difference they might not work all the time but you're going to find one that really really works well and it just proves a point there I know they weren't great trout but what it is is that they were the only trout caught so that tells the story